Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Diana and we're gonna be unboxing my first ever pre-loved Louis Vuitton bag. I have never been inclined to actually go purchase a pre-loved bag, not because I have something against it, but I never had the opportunity or the chance to actually go get one. And two days ago, the opportunity came to me. My friend called me and she's like, hey, Diana, like, I'm trying to get rid of my Neverfull MM in the Demir Bean. And I couldn't say no. Okay, so let me explain myself. So what happened, she told me, she's like, hey, can you post some pics of the bag and probably, like, sell it to your subscribers, like, on your Instagram? And I was like, okay, sure, like, I'll help you out. Like, she's a very close friend of mine's. And I was looking at the pictures that she sent me and... I really like the bag like I have a I have a monogram print never full mm but the only canvas of Demir Bean that I have is my Alma BB so when she showed me the never full I kind of like lost it a little bit because I was like oh I need that bag in my life especially because I use my never full for work a lot a lot and I needed to kind of like switch up the bags. So I said, hey girl, like, is it okay if I purchase the bag instead? I know, like, I don't know how you feel about that. And she's like, oh my God, yes. I was totally waiting for you to actually offer yourself to do that because I will feel more comfortable just selling it to you. And I went that exact same day to her house and I took the bag with me, which was yesterday. And I had to film today because I need to show you guys my new never fold that I have in my collection. Okay, so I got a very good deal on this bag. A very good deal. If you know, Louis Vuitton is like constantly, constantly putting up their prices. I feel like last year for 2020, they put up their prices like three or four times. And it, it's getting quite annoying, you might say. So, as of right now, I checked online. The Neverfull MM is going for, I believe, $1,540 plus taxes. It could even go up for like $1,600 around there. And I managed to get this beautiful Neverfull MM in the Demir Bean for $1,000. I saved myself six hundred dollars to be exact and I'm so grateful for my friend oh she's amazing I'm so glad I'm so glad she offered it to me well she offered it to you guys but I kind of like went in and took it I'm sorry I'm sorry I just couldn't say no it was too cute so let me show you her it came with a dust bag um she has had this bag for um, i think she said like four years i think it, yeah it's four years because i i she told me the day she actually went and go purchase the bag and she's so gorgeous she did tell me that she has a cat and the cat kind of nibbled on the edge of the bag let me try to find it right here so the cat kind of nibbled it a little bit but i don't mind it it's okay i'm gonna use it for work and besides that little nibble i mean obviously the inside is gonna have wear and tear throughout the years especially and it comes with a little pouch how cute is that so cute obviously throughout the years your bag is gonna get wear and tear i just need to deep clean it because it has a lot of like little dust bunnies in the bottom but besides that for pre-loved it's not bad and she's adorable and she's going to the office with me um yeah it has a little cat nibble but it's okay i don't mind it because it's pre-loved it's been places okay so when i went to go pick up the bag i kind of felt like it was not an mm it was a pm size because i was telling her that the bag looks so much smaller than my never full mm and she's like no diana like 
it's an mm and i was like i know i was like no girl you're wrong this has to be a pm i don't know why i was thinking it's pm because it looks smaller than my neverfull like let me bring it out that way you guys could see i think it's just um because the canvas is darker than my the monogram print and it makes it have more like a slimming effect i don't may i think it's that but I don't know why it looks so much like smaller and more dainty than the monogram print then again i may be wrong maybe i'm just seeing it wrong but it's the same size it's it's the same size as an mm and i'm so glad that now i have not one but two neverfulls mm and i'm so happy i managed to get my hands on one because that way i could put her on the shelf and start using this one mm, I'm trying to inspect it and see if I could find any more like little scratches but I, it, no it's just that one it's just a little kitty bite mark that it has okay so now I have two of the little pouches that come inside the neverfull which i'm kind of lucky she still had this one um the little pouch because a lot of people tend to resell this one because that's what i heard that they don't find purpose for or use for the little pouches and you could actually resell these for i think they go up to like 450 dollars so i'm so glad she didn't get rid of this one this little baby right here and now I have two, and if you know me, I like to use them as accessories, um, like mini pochettes, kind of like vibe. So I have my Neverfull one now, and then I have this one, and they're pretty cool to use as a casual little bag for whenever you have to go do a quick errand, and that's what I love about them, that they're pretty useful, and now I have two. And this one is kind of like damaged a little bit, but it doesn't bother me because like I said, it's pre-loved, it's okay. So, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera right here. No? Yeah, so you can see that one right here, that little stain. But I haven't tried to actually run like a baby wipe on top of it, so maybe that will go away. And then there's another one right here. And then... She did say she used this little pouch for everything, so I, I kind of understand why it's going to have all these little scraps, scrapes, I mean, and dents. So it has four. I don't know if you guys could kind of see it. Um, let me see if I could bring it closer. I mean, it's just that, that I could probably find. The hardware, obviously, it's been four years. You can see the hardware has had some use in it. The inside, it's not red red, <laughs> but once again, it's pre-loved. I don't mind it. I like it. I like that I could be a little bit carefree with this one, but not a lot. It's gonna be, I like it. I like it so much. I honestly feel like I got a very good price on my item, especially it, it was pre-loved, you know, it had wear and tear and the only reason I feel like I actually went on and purchased the bag was because I actually went, inspectioned the bag, looked at it, looked at all the details and all the details, the wear and tear that you may call it, and I knew what I was purchasing. I knew what I was getting my hands on instead of buying like online and not seeing all those little details and then once you receive your bag you're just like ah nobody told me I was gonna have all this and I feel like that's why I was kind of comfortable purchasing the bag and like I said it was a very good deal it also came with the pouch and I seen them go especially on the pre-love sites for around a thousand one hundred to a thousand four hundred dollars and I only got it for one grand which was amazing and make sure you do your research by the way before you purchase a bag from any vendor pre-love sites whatever like make sure you 
find out if it's real because you're dropping a lot of money on a bag and you don't that's the last thing you want for example me i knew the day she went to go purchase it i think it was like four years ago and i know because she came out of the store and she was going crazy and she called me she's like hey i got the bag i got the bag and she was showing me the bag so i, I felt comfortable with her because i know the bag was real and yeah guys like if you're gonna go through the pre um pre-love route do your research look at every little detail because the last thing you want is to receive a bag that looks nothing like the picture that you purchased and that's not cool so i just wanted to do like a small video unboxing kind of like unboxing the bag and i hope you guys enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up comment down below like have you ever purchased pre-loved and if you don't follow me on instagram what are you waiting for just follow me on instagram i'll have it linked down below as well and that's it babes i hope you guys have a great rest of your week and stay safe stay tuned but most of all you have to stay beautiful